How can Mars become Earth 2.0? The planet Mars, also known as the Roman God of War, is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system. After Mercury, it is considered the second smallest planet in the solar system. Did you know Mars has a distinct reddish appearance, which is because of the presence of iron oxide on its surface. This makes it stand out amongst astronomical bodies that are visible to the naked eye. Interestingly, Mars has two moons. They are named Phobos and Deimos. Mars is approximately 33.9 million kilometers away from the Earth, and currently it will take up to nine months to travel to Mars. As per the orbital period, there are 687 days on Mars, as compared to the 365 days on Earth. Now, you might be curious to know whether Mars has seasons too. The scientific data reveals that the planet Mars has experienced warmer and colder eras throughout its history. Just like our little green planet Earth, Mars originated as gravity forced a few spinning gases and dust to form a mass. It was some 4.5 billion years ago. That is when the solar system stabilized into its current shape. Mars is nearly half the size of Earth with a solid crust, a rocky mantle, and a central core, similar to Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Mars is home to the largest volcano in our solar system, named Olympus Mons. It is three times taller than Mount Everest and has a base the size of the state of New Mexico. There are many factors that make Mars almost fit for humanity. There are several studies suggesting that Mars previously had water on it. There are historic valley networks, deltas, and lake beds, as well as rocks and minerals on the surface that could only have originated in liquid water. Some characteristics on Mars imply that massive floods transpired around 3.5 billion years ago. Experts suggest that the vast majority of water on Mars exists in the form of ice, while small amounts exist as vapor. There's only one place on Mars where you can see water ice at the surface, and that is at the North Polar Ice Cap. According to space missions conducted by various organizations, agencies, and experts, some portions of Mars were habitable long ago. These studies suggest that microbial life on Mars may still exist today, maybe under the ice caps or in subsurface lakes discovered by missions such as the Mars Express. Some researchers believe that certain living species are capable of thriving on Mars, but they are yet to provide any substantial evidence for the same. Several studies suggest that without direct evidence of past life, we can't know if Mars was ever inhabited. According to certain events, it is suggested that life on Earth may have evolved from life on Mars. However, if this is accurate, there may be proof that Mars was or is habitable for people. Something special had to exist from the atmosphere to the weather. The issue now is whether it can be made habitable for people yet again. Maybe with the right reforms, it will be possible soon. And studies also indicate the same. With a typical temperature of minus 63 degrees Celsius, that is minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit, Mars is inhospitably cold. Some early studies believe that the planet's atmosphere is 95.3% carbon dioxide and remaining other gases and only traces of oxygen. Hmm. Now it seems really difficult to colonize the planet as it lacks all the necessary components for human survival. Be it oxygen, water, as well as an atmosphere, growing our food is out of the question without these and one can't even take their spacesuits off. Although the planet seems hostile, we humans are also stubborn. Scientists are coming up with possible theories to turn this hostile planet into something like our green little Earth. One such popular theory suggests we can detonate some nuclear bombs on Mars's polar ice caps, churning the ice into water, and this bombarding will also result in the formation of greenhouse gases. This will provide the planet with a kickstart for the creation of a stable and habitable atmosphere. As part of a human expedition, certain satellites and gadgets have been deployed to Mars to colonize it just like our Earth. Significant genetic engineering and other sophisticated technologies are required. Stephen Hawkins cautioned mankind that it wouldn't be long until our Earth's resources are extinguished. Yet, there are several other reasons to colonize Mars. 
Along with the advancements of colonizing space, there would be a very vital need to alter the DNAs of humans for their survival. Some scientists believe that genetic modifications should be used to help people survive and thrive in the dire circumstances that humans would encounter on Mars, such as bone-wasting microgravity and high radiation doses. As we have seen, various aspects need to be covered before coming to any conclusion. What are your thoughts on Mars becoming habitable for humans? Do you think with all the studies and research, we humans can make it possible? Well, only time will tell. So let's keep hoping that someday, with all the human advancements, we will positively make Mars Earth 2.0.